So I'm here with Doug Kearney, and hey, Doug. Hey, how you doing there, Al? I'm good. We're talking about um, Leroy Jones, Amiri Baraka's How You Sound, two question marks, yeah. from, it was published in the prose section of uh, the New American Poetry. So it's got a lot of readers, and this connected him with, not just with the Beats, but with the New York School and everything else. So I thought we'd pick a couple of passages from this thing and Sounds talk good. about it. First of all, how do you read the title, How You Sound? question mark it's not how you sound but how you sound yeah yeah i mean like i would have to like track the kind of time time period of of where this idiom like really takes hold yeah but i do know that there's this idiomatic phrase in certain african diasporic vernaculars it's like how you sound like 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 this idea of even like how do you even sound saying this? Like, mm. what are you talking about? Like, you're, that's ridiculous, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So even the possibility, mm. you know, is, but also, <clears throat> but also, you know, how you sound, like, 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 where are you coming from? Like, mm. like, what, like, 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 what is the tradition of the arc? <clears throat> so sound may be dug as um, plumbing, discerning the depth of, mm, sounding, yeah. that kind yeah. of sound. And yeah. of course, the first level of sounding is dear to your heart, which mm. is the sound of the, voice in the throat Absolutely. performing poetry, which was pretty new to poetry. At this exactly. Point. exactly. Um, a little further down, he declares freedom, basically. My poetry is whatever I think I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I make a poetry with what I feel is useful and can be saved out of all the garbage of our lives, what I see am touched by, and then in parentheses, all caps, can hear. Can you mm -hmm. make some sense of that? Mm -hmm. I mean... This is a way of like drawing in the environment from where he is. So like if you're thinking about tradition again, like right. like, like you know how you sound right. is a way of tracing your tr your your tradition and your trajectory, right? Mm -hmm. So that sense of what is permissible, what is what can be made poetic, mm -hmm. what could be mm -hmm. rendered poetic. Yeah. Um, you know, what are the vernaculars, what are the cultural mm -hmm. references? You know, if you think of something like Harlem Airshaft, what are the kinds of, mm -hmm. you know, onomatopoeic things that compose and make mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. to be characteristic in a musical mm -hmm. sound what is noise what is right. signal what is yeah. yeah so more more sounding more mm -hmm. uh discerning what's out there to be used and i love useful here doug yeah useful yeah. saying um yeah i'm very idealistic in thinking about my freedom but i also want to do something with the garbage of our lives that's going to work that's going to be practical it's going to make sense absolutely um he's also uh doing something that today is uh, an assumption it's in the air which is that my poetry is self-identification i decide who i am right the right. poetry is what i think i am yeah which is new all right skipping down um uh there cannot be closet poetry Hmm. Unless the closet be as wide as God's eye. What you, I mean, I don't know what he means by closet there. I mean, uh, we probably have to go to some etym etymological for closeting. Right, right. Queer right. closeting. But that. what does he mean, do you think? Well, closet poetry. I mean, there is the that genre of work that is, whether you're talking about closet plays... Oh, right? like closet drama. A closet oh, drama. Okay. So like oh, a, a poem that is only meant to happen in the head, which yeah. goes back to what you were saying about performance, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, or, 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 or not making aloud, yeah. right? Like, like yeah. there, therefore there's poetry. Poetry has to be made taken yeah. out it has to be mm. presented closet, right yeah. it has yeah. to be brought out oh i like that. and so and so the closet would have to be as god wide as god's eye yeah. and therefore available to all yeah. creation yeah. right but you know we but as you were pointing out i mean like the idea of closet poetry if barack if jones at this yeah. point is making that double meaning yeah. you know at that point in his history yeah. right we couldn't dismiss the possibility that right, that's, that's also right. a bit of that signifying yeah. happening there. Yeah. All right, two more passages. Um, he, this is, a, you know, it's a little later, five, six years later, that he begins to associate freedom in the civil rights sense mm -hmm. with art. Mm -hmm. right? My art must be formally free and experimental if I am going to do justice to the concept of freedom I'm thinking about. This is a little before that, but I love this line nonetheless. 
And all that means that I must be completely free, and he means formally and experimentally, mm -hmm. to do just what I want in the poem. Hmm. I guess that's obvious, but do you mind commenting on that? Freedom here is the freedom to not choose uh, traditional forms. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that sense of freedom. I'm thinking now about something that Arthur Jaffa wrote um, in his essay, My Black Death, when he talks about self-possession, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And he called self-possession, like, the issue, I think he said the issue par excellence of, mm. like, mm. Uh, of, of the black artist. And he locates this in jazz improvisation, yeah. right? Because if you are an Afro-diasporic artist, like, what greater question is there in the 20th century than possession yeah, yeah, yeah. and self-possession. It's right? a pun. Self-possession right. is self partly your own confidence, but it's also what you're talking about. Absolutely. So yeah. to be free to do just what you feel you want yeah. in a poem is emergent, an emergent tradition, mm -hmm. but right, but also a, a breaking out of mm -hmm. these sort of boxes, mm -hmm. like the, the Stanzaic room is also right. a barracoon at that point, right? right. It's right. also a ship's hold, right? right? So if you're thinking about it like that, the ability to decide at any given moment mm -hmm. to do is a kind of self-determination mm -hmm. or, you know, a variation on the idea mm -hmm. of self-possession. So I think that that's... All right, I said there was going to be one more passage after right. that. I lied, there's two. So a little <laughs> later in the same paragraph, I'm and it's continuing the point we were just talking about. I'm not interested in writing sonnets, sestinas, or anything. Only poems. Mm. If the poem has got to be a sonnet, unlikely though, or whatever, <laughs> it'll certainly let me know. Right. It's, it's right. funny and good. Right, 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 right. But what's he saying there? I mean, I, I assume that you you completely um, harmonize with this. Yeah. You 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 find whatever form will work. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, there's this there's this really interesting moment that's a kind of a giving over, like if the poem has got to be a sonnet, right? Right. 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 And there's there's a kind of a unlikely, grudging, but unlikely, if so, right? Yeah. But if so, and mm -hmm. it's like has got to be, right? Right. And which is which is this sort of yeah. like, yeah. ah, okay, fine, yeah. right? So and he's following. He's following the poems. The poems demand. Right. Right. <laughs> It's tricky. It's magic, but right, and he's right. also you know he's coming after Claude McKay who wrote sonnets right, and County Cullen who wrote ballads and sonnets. Absolutely. So he's not disrespecting them. You say it's possible, right. unlikely, unlikely though, though, but whatever works. And right. certainly McKay's sonnets worked for what McKay was trying to do. Right, and he and 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 that it will tell him that. Yeah. And but I also like the way he's saying that he's not interested in writing sonnets, mm -hmm. he's interested in writing poems, which I think is an, is a, is an important distinction, mm -hmm. right? He's not interested in performing this particular form. Right. He is interested in writing a poem. Mm -hmm. And I do think that's, a, that's an important distinction to make, mm -hmm. um, whether or not one is entering this as a kind of way of subverting or pushing back against what they see as a... Mm -hmm as a tradition, a formalist tradition or not. He's saying, I don't give a, a damn about these forms. I want to write poems. Now, if the poem tells me that it has to become a sonnet, right. then I will write a sonnet. But before right. it is a sonnet, before it is a sestina, it is a poem. Right. And I think that's an important sort of thing, a sure. bit of a useful bit He's of advice. reversing right. what at the time, certainly, and even today, I think, in a lot of MFA programs. Oh, yeah. There's this idea that you start with an idea about which form you're going to use. Right, and you right. Find out what you're writing about, right. and you make it contort to the form. Right. The form writes the poem. This as is the other way around. Right? Exactly. It says, "Okay, I've got something to say, and if a sonnet is the way, the vehicle for it." Okay, one last thing, sure. the last line, and I'm sure you have a lot to say about it, but we we have to be quick. And the <laughs> diluted formalism of the academy, parentheses, the formal <laughs> culture of the U.S is anemic and fraught with incompetence and unreality. And this comes after he's talked about projective verse of Olson and the irregular foot of Williams mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this sort of general idea, almost a free jazzish idea that how you sound is what it's import what's important. So then he ends with a, a dig at formal, what, what we might call official academic poetry of the time. Right, right. Wow, right, right. you could say a lot about this, but I invite you to say one thing. <sighs> <laughs> this is not something you thought about much, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> but I, okay, so so I'm going to say two half things, okay, and to make a whole thing, okay. I would want to attend closely to the fact that he modifies formalism with diluted. Mm -hmm. 
right. which suggests that his problem might not be with formalism, mm -hmm. but or maybe he's amplifying the problem of formalism. But to say diluted formalism suggests a weakened formalism. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if his problem there, or if his critique there, mm -hmm. is that the formalism, like, would it be better if it were a fully formed formalism, a concentrated mm -hmm. formalism? Mm -hmm. So that's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, and then... It's interesting to think about, um, you know, imagining like a, a critical disability, an, an, an intersectional uh, reading of anemic and fraught mm -hmm. with incompetence and unreality. There's a big collision of a number of different mm -hmm. sort of abjection, mm -hmm. uh, you know, abject categories that mm -hmm. are happening there. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I'm, and I'm interested in that um, through a lens of like, how are we reading that through perhaps a lens of critical disability studies mm. around that. Interesting. Right? But, but yeah, that yeah. diluted formalism like that, mm. that's a weird hitch, mm. right? Mm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right. Uh, so last, we're going to do a lightning round. Uh -oh. You and I are going <laughs> to, you and I are going to uh, go several rounds and go back to the title phrase okay. and riff on what it means. Okay. Uh, you first, then I'll go lightning round. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. What's it mean? All right. So, how you sound? Um, I think it means um, how do you make? How mm. do you make mm. utterance? Mm. So how do you mm. sound? Sound right. is verb. Right. That's good because he taught us to reverse this thing. You make mm -hmm. sound and then you figure out the form. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it means that how. I want to focus on how. Okay. How you sound is more important than what you sound. Mm. That how you say what you say is more important than what you say. Okay. That form, instead of content, is a sounding. Content is secondary to that how. How is everything. Hmm. Okay. Your turn. Okay. I want to focus on the fact that there are two question marks and not just thinking of those <laughs> as amplifying the question, but mm. imagining that maybe it's double questions. Mm. So how you sound... How you sound. Mm. Um, so if there are two questions being asked, I'm going to throw back at you. What are the two questions? Uh, one is, how do you sound? Okay. In other words, how does this work? Right. And the other is, uh, this irony you talked about mm -hmm. that's in uh, African-American tradition of disbelief, mm -hmm. like ironic, like, where did you get off sounding like that? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I cheated because one of those was yours. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's like we can be All right. Is it my turn? I don't know. See, I don't I'm not. Okay. I'm now <laughs> right. the water. All right. Well, let's go two more. Two all right. more. Okay. All right. how, how you sound. Um, uh, this is at the end of the great anthology, the New American Poetry. If you go back to the back of it, and you'll see some prose statements. Mm -hmm. And one of them is an instruction manual on how to sound. Oh. Right, as opposed to how to write, huh. in the era of musical performance and uh, beat style readings and free jazz. Okay, your well, turn. This is the last one. This is the last one. Okay. Well, then I think that this is actually a retort to the entire project of the anthology, mm -hmm. where he is now looking at that anthology as if oh, to nice. ask, "You actually feel like you have to ask the question." <laughs> How you sound? Oh what my kind God. of lame? What kind oh, of strange? That's so great. What kind of strange that's question? So not lame. What kind of strange question yeah. is it to yeah, ask? How yeah, you yeah, sound? Yeah. Who has to be taught that? So it's as if the <laughs> phrase is in quotes, Doug. Like you guys are asking how you sound. How you sound? Really? Are you right. asking that? Exactly. That's great. Thank you. This was fun. Mm -hmm. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for Modpo, a free and open course at modpo.org.